hey did you know that laziness is a habit it's not a psychological disorder and it's definitely not a deadly sin but did you ever notice that you are almost never lazy in every single thing there are certain areas in our life where laziness doesn't feature say pursuing romantic interests or pursuing our own passions this is called as selective laziness for example i feel lazy to do anything that i don't like like cooking or cleaning the house for diwali so the question i have is that is our laziness telling us something is it really bad to be lazy as it's told in our culture let's find out laziness is an overused criticism did you know that historically we've been told that it's bad if we are lazy in fact it is one of the seven deadly sins psychologically though it is confirmed that it is just a habit there are many factors that are driving our laziness like fear of failure or success boredom repeated loss of expectations and even depression to name a few most of us suffer from what i call as a selective laziness which means that we are lazy in few areas of our lives and not every area but this laziness is definitely speaking to us do you know what your laziness is telling you it's telling you that you're smart most lazy people are smart and efficient as well you know why because their ultimate goal is to complete the task as quickly as possible and then get back to resting so they will work hard to maximize efficiency also there is a fear that if you don't do it well you may have to redo the task so they will ensure that they don't make any mistakes which is why bill gates is supposed to hire lazy people he says and i quote i choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it your laziness is telling you what you don't like it's making you understand your own self It's telling you that the activity that you're trying to avoid is something that is not of any interest to you. So if you're feeling lazy, think about how you feel about that activity. Reflecting on your actions and the root cause of it will help you make informed decisions in your life. And reflecting as an activity helps your brain experience creativity. It may sound counterintuitive, but our best insightful ideas come when you're lazy and unfocused. Mayank Saraswat said Laziness is a mother of creativity. Your laziness is telling you to stay in the moment. Except when you are in a reflective mood, laziness like meditation helps you stay in the present moment and appreciate for what it is. Being mindful relaxes and recharges us. There's a popular WhatsApp status message that says, "I'm not lazy, I'm simply enjoying doing nothing." Your laziness is telling you to take rest. If you're not a lazy person per se, but you're experiencing laziness, then your body could be telling you to stop. And this could be because of exhaustion, stress, or even burnout. Taking a break and allowing yourself to be lazy will prevent you from running your body out of energy and focus. Having one lazy day per week can reduce stress, high blood pressure, and chances of having a stroke. Your laziness is telling you to find a purpose. People are not intrinsically lazy, but are lazy because they have not found what they wanted to do. When you have purpose in life, you'll be so driven by it that laziness has no chance being there. So your laziness could be telling you to find life's purpose. Anthony Robbins said, "People are not lazy; they simply have important goals. That is, goals that do not inspire them." So there you go. Laziness has host of benefits, so you can and must use it to your advantage. And when I come back next week, I'll teach you exactly how you can do that. But for now, what do you think of today's topic? Does laziness figure in your life? Are you struggling with it? Do let me know in the comment section below 
or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. If you find this video resourceful, don't be lazy. Hit the like button, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. My name is Aparna and I wish you a productive week ahead. Have a wonderful time. Bye.